How y'all doing this morning? Well, it's still morning over here where I am, 9.28. I don't know what time it is by you, but how you doing today? If it's not still morning, how's your early afternoon going? Whew. Mine is perfect so far. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I want to talk about pheromones today. I was on here long yesterday. I'm not gonna be on here long today with y'all. It's okay. Yeah. You create your own reality, 1212. Yes, you do. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> Man, yesterday, like I said, I, I stayed on here. I didn't realize I started running my mouth for like two hours, but it was good and, and everybody needed you know, everybody had questions and stuff and needed to hear that particular message. We was talking about meditation on yesterday and the different levels of meditation. I posted it on my um, my YouTube channel this morning, so it's live already for those of you who missed it and need to see the, um... hey, Freddie, hey, Wisdom. Thank you for following me, Wisdom. For those who want to look at the replay, I posted it. Yesterday was phenomenal. Oh, you caught it. Good for you. Today is going to be a little juicy. I'm not going to be able to say all the words without, because I don't want um, TikTok to flag my life, but I really want to kind of hint at doing the do and how you draw people to you with pheromones and things like that. So I'm going to be saying, you know, maybe they're baby words, but I want y'all to get this and understand this for your journey and use it in your kingdom, God. Before I begin, I want to see how many, I want to know my audience. So if if you are a woman, press the number one for me. Let me see how many, hey Jason. If you are a woman, a lady in the physical reality, press the number one. Let me see how many women are here. Cause I think I have more men on here than women. Press the number one, 12, 12, I got one, one. Only one woman? Okay. Two, three. Okay. That's about, okay. Three or four y'all women? And all of the rest of them in men are men? Okay. There's about five women? Okay. About six? Okay. So about six women. Okay. So the men. Men, press the number four. Could you press the number four, men? Men, if you don't mind, press the number four. I won't see if you up in here. Men, 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 number four. No men? So I'm just, okay. Okay, one man, okay. I think it's more men than women, actually. Two, okay. Okay, about three, I see. Okay. Come on, man, I know you out here. I know. Come on, come on. Good afternoon, hey, True. Thank you for being here. Okay, any more men? Nobody talking. Hey, Queens. All right. No more men. So we got about half and half here. Is what y'all trying to say? Y'all want to hear from both sides? Y'all want to hear what I'm about to say to the women and to the men? Because you know, all is God. I'm not going to be on nobody's side. I just wanted to know who I'm talking to. But nonetheless, since y'all being shy, I'm going to do, and since y'all gave me kind of like an even number, I'm going to do this message for both of y'all. So. You're welcome, Netaru. I, yeah, babe. So here we go. We're talking about pheromones. Pheromones are important for both men and women. Okay? In our physical reality, men is... Okay, so first of all, let me talk about what, what I believe it to be. Because my belief may be a little bit different from you. Pheromones, to me, is your natural scent. Your natural stench without deodorant. What you are secreting out of your body through sh your sweat, through your um, fluids, your bodily fluids, your vagina, all of that, right? It has an odor, a musk, a stench about itself, right? Women have it, men have it. Here's the thing our diet plays a part in our pheromones. Our intake of water plays a part on our pheromones. But this is what I want to talk about. The ability to attract the other sex plays a huge part in 
our pheromones. These are like airborne messages that's being sent out to uh, the opposite sex, right? Like, you know, like for example, a dog being in heat. He can smell the female dog and he'll damn near break his neck to jump the fence to go get some of her goods, like, right? Pheromones, he knows this, he's in tune to this. Men and women, humans, aren't exempt from this knowing, right? You sometimes might think you are attracted to somebody <laughs> because of maybe their conversation or their look or whatever, but intuitively you are attracted because of their airborne pheromones, right? Here's a deeper thing that I want you to know. Women in the walls of our vagina, we also have a chemical that we can secrete. It's called um, copulin fluid, right? And so, <laughs> or coupling, coupling or coupling, however you pronounce it, fluid. It's on the walls of the vagina, right? And so on the walls of the vagina, most often than not, Women who take birth control, the walls of their vagina, has a fume. Calm down, ladies. There's enough of me to go around. Oh, my God. Okay, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> um, there's a fume that is, like, created from the peel that you take from being on birth control. And it gives you a fume, like a, almost like a mucus layer, almost like, in order for you not to have a baby, you know, not to be impregnated. So this here kind of like smothers your chemical, so to speak. Diet can smother it, you know, not taking enough, intaking enough water, right? <laughs> so it is so important in the physical reality why, this is why it's important to take care of your physical body, right? This is why it's important to wear like natural deodorants, like, right? I, I did a video on my new natural deodorant, BPH Balance. It's dehydrated key lime peel. It'll actually detox underneath your armpit, like, right? And get you back to your natural stint, scent or stench. In the physical reality, they have perfumes and colognes. And this is why I also talk about don't put the perfume and cologne on your skin. You put it on your, your, um, your clothes or in your braided hair or, or this here, like, right? They have perfumes and colognes that have these pheromones or copulins, um chemicals from animals, like, right? in order for you to be wild or attracted to another person's stench based upon their smell. And the reason why most people are so attracted to that musk that comes from an animal is, animal is because they already eat or intake animals in their physical reality. So that stench or that smell that came from an animal <laughs> is appealing to them. They like it, if they have pork chop, you know, in it, and they have a little secretion from a pig in that perfume or cologne, then it's gonna lure them in. It's gonna sound, I mean, it's gonna smell familiar, like, right? But this is when it really gets gangster, right? <laughs> when your pheromones, your coupling fluid already, the chemical that you already have in your vagina, when it smells good naturally, when you are at your organic, level where you purge your body, you clean your body, and you don't have a mucus layer in your lining of your vagina, when you don't have all kind of yeast and fungus and parasites in the abdominal cavity of your body, and that way when you do have your musk or your stench, it's not overwhelmingly foul. It is drawing people to you. For example, you ever went out and saw not being judgmental, or maybe you was this lady one day, went out and they had a lady maybe in a red dress or a bright yellow dress or something very vibrant or eye appealing to everybody. And she stood out. She stood out because of that dress, but she stood out because of the color, which is a frequency, but her pheromones, her energy wasn't drawing people to her. We noticed her there, but it wasn't like people were flocking to her, right? 
is because not only, because colors have frequency, but not only do the colors have the frequency, your aura, your energy, your airborne pheromones have a frequency about them too. And if it's a stench, it's going to repel people away from you. This is why it's so important to detox. This is why it's so important to take care of the avatar body, like, right? So let me tell you something as far as the, the dude is concerned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I might be pronouncing it wrong, true. Yeah, but that's how you, that's how you uh, spell it. Cup, cupulins. Yeah, you so pretty. You look like you smell so good. <laughs> hey, Nikki. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you. Hey, Gemini. Thank you for being here. So let me tell you something about the dude, the dude. Because, you know, we God's in physical form. You know, God get a little nasty every now and then, like, right? <laughs> All is God. You came forth because the God before you got a little nasty, like, right? Got a little excited, like, right? So being that, the reason why I asked if there were men and, or women on here is because I'm about to talk about the dude and I, and, and I want you all to get this, both man and woman, because I'm a mother, I have both young men and I won't, I told them about this here so they don't get got. So men, if you there and you was being shy, listen up. Okay, so we are the creators of these men, like, right? Outside of our couple and chemical that we can secrete, we are the creator. We gave that we they came through our portal of life, right? And so, really and truly, women and why am I talking so low? Like somebody go hear me. I don't know. <laughs> really and truly, men and women are so much alike. Like right? Like their their breasts or their chest is pushed in. Our breasts come out. Like right? It's like um. It's like, okay, okay, Prince, okay, okay, we, they, okay, it's okay, it's okay. And, you know, we have a clitoris, which is really a penis, you know, that's, their penis comes out in, in our so-called head. <laughs> it's the only thing they're showing, I and mean, we call it the clitoris, like, right? It's like a vagina, it's like a vagina inside out, you know, they got the balls that, that, that hang out, and we got the inside ovaries that's inside we are so much alike we're yin and yang right so they can penetrate right they can penetrate inside of us right and release right y'all listening okay but we created them so we ain't gonna create them to be able to do something to us that we can't do back to them can y'all hear me <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to know that when you are having relations with a man after he releases inside of you there's a precious moment right after if you stay connected to him and you are on top of him after he releases inside of you, your copulin chemical or fluid <laughs> then has a precious moment to enter into the tip of his penis, going all the way down and traveling all the way up his spine, all the way to his subconscious mind, all the way to his head, right? And so this chemical, if you stay there attached with him for a couple of minutes, penetrates inside of him, right? It penetrates inside of him. And for him, he's probably not in tune with self to feel it traveling up his body. You could tell him something. And I'm not saying this to get over on the man. I'm just saying this in case you you know, wanted to try this on your husband or your partner while you're on top of him. Hey, babe, just, just, oh, just keep it in, big daddy, or whatever you say, you know, just, just, just give me a minute. Oh, you, oh, I'm so tired. I can't move. For him to stay inside of you, right? And it will, your fluids, this chemical penetrates inside of him and gives him a euphoria, feel good kind of feeling in his body. And at that pivotal moment, 
it, it, this fluid reaches all the way up to the peak of his head, like, right? It's like mentally, you have this particular person feeling a sense of bliss and euphoria and, and joy and feel good hormones are being released in his body. And so you could pretty much ask him <laughs> anything at that moment. And maybe even up to two, two days later, you know, anything. And it's like you have him at your command. Like, right? And this is something a lot of women and men don't know about with their power. <laughs> and so if you have him, and I'm not saying this for, man, for you to manipulate him in no kind of way, but God, the female God has power. You know how they say the power of the P, so to speak? But it gotta be when you have taken care of the avatar and you are in tune with yourself. Because see, if you have a whole bunch of birth control mucus down there, you're not really secreting this. You can get on top of all kinds of little thrones of cards and you're not gonna really penetrate like this here. You gotta be in tune with yourself. And this is why also when you are dealing with a man, this is why it's really not too good to be trying to deal with a man and get on top of a married man is what I mean on top of a married man because nine times out of ten his wife done been on his throne already and she done already penetrated her chemicals her fluids all the way up to his head that's why he probably complaining about her so much like man she so this she so this but he ain't going nowhere because <laughs> she she her fluids her essence is all the way deeply rooted inside of him all the way to his head yeah, he, 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 I don't want to say it to make him feel lesser than anything, but he's kind of like gone in that area. And so all you doing, the older outside lady is really doing is, is giving him a little excitement, a little thrill outside, but she not penetrating like the wife. <laughs> no, not the, not the wife. The wife done been on the throne. She done got all her fluids up there. And if you're really in tune with yourself, I'm telling you this, if you're really in tune, this is how you know if your partner this is how you know if your partner, he's locked in. Yeah, he is. This is how you know if your partner been stepping out on you or not. You ain't got to look through no phone, whatever. You just, but that's when you clean. That's when you took care of the avatar. You could just, oh, <laughs> you just smell it. You could smell another woman on him easily. And the stench from if she was in that position, she, she got on the throne of God, the stench going to be on him for about three to four days. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be on about three or four days. So, so all of this perfume wearing stuff is really not that your smell, it's not his smell. But when we are in tune with our stench or our smell, <laughs> We have these chemicals that are naturally airborne release and it's drawing people to us. Just the chemical, like, like they don't have to be. Now this ain't, this ain't the chemical that, oh, right here when I pass kind of chemical with my air passes this next, this other person's body and they smell. No, I'm not talking about being that close. I'm talking about the kind of chemical that I don't know, the bunny bread, like you in the city where they make the little bunny bread and you go, oh, I smell in the air, just bread, just where, where, where is this plant? Or are you in a subdivision nearby, the, the coffee maker, it's like, oh, I smell coffee. Oh, I gotta find it. I gotta, I gotta go find it. I'm talking about that far of a distance kind of pheromones in the air. That's your power. That's your ability to be able to do this with your reflections, with your partners. That's how you can smell your partners. That's why it's really so important that you be able to smell your partner's natural scent, especially for men too. Like, like what if your partner needs your help? You need to be able to know what he or she, her essence is to find that partner, to, to, to get them out of distress. No, I, I need to know what your stench is smells like and so this is why it's so important to clean up the avatar too especially if you want to be in a healthy relationship men want to be protectors how you gonna protect me are you looking for some kind of exotic fragrance 
Chanel or diamonds or whatever. No, no, you need to be looking for my scent, stench. You need to know how I smell my essence, my chemicals, my pheromones, right? You need to be able to sit there in the bed next to me and, and wait, hula, who you, who you been letting kiss on you? Who, 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 who thrown you been on top of? Cause I smell it in you. That, that's a bond, that's a connection. Now when you get to that level, huh, when you get to that level, this, 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 this ain't for the, just the regular people that just won't hit it and quit it. I'm talking like the twin flame levels. Like I'm talking to like conscious be beings, like, right? Right? I'm talking to conscious being that's in a harmonious union. I'm talking about when they talk about in the biblical text about being equally yoked with a partner, I'm talking about those kind of, kind of relationships. Okay? So when you have that trust, when you when you know that this is a, a, a union, and I'm not saying to even expect them to step out, but you want to 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 get you want to get that high is what I'm saying. You crave for that high of their pheromones. You ain't worrying about the fact that they go step out on you because you don't have a little shitty concept like that. But you want that stench. You want you want to get that high off of them. You want you want as a man. And in in a lot of men, they might not want to admit it because of the ego. But as a man, he wants her to get on his throne, on the throne of, of God, and do her thing, and secrete her fluids inside of him because he knows it makes him a better man. He knows that it makes him feel good. Just like women on the flip, some, you know, some women, <laughs> they love to intake you know, I don't want to say those things on, 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 on TikTok, but y'all know what I'm saying. They love to intake the secretions because they know it's if they, I'm talking about healed, healed, healthy people here. I ain't talking about the people that, you know, smell like pork chops and bacon and stuff. I'm not talking about that, but at your purest form and your secretions being clear, not looking like cottage cheese kind of secretions. I'm talking about the clear ones, the clear ones that look like okra, clear. You see what I'm saying here? The okra kind, that kind, <laughs> the kind that haven't been to the clinic because they purge, they sell because they eat citrus fruit. Their lymphatic system is clean. That if they skipped a bath, they not stinking up the whole house. That if they use the bathroom and have a bowel movement, that it ain't disrupt the whole community. <laughs> you see, natural juices. That's what I'm talking about. And so nobody want to really have these conversations. But, but this matters though. How you smell matters, God. Your stench matters. You supposed to sweat, but oh, but oh, that sweat! Oh my God, your sweat smell good too. God damn! <laughs> See, nobody don't have these, won't have these conversations. All of that anti purge sprint, all of that jupe cologne, and oh, and they have one, they have one, they have one that that's made with oud, which is an exotic scent. Uh, it's called Creed for men. You know, Tom Ford. For men does that too. Yeah, they have all the um, um, bond number nine. I have bond number nine. And it has those ouds in it. Oud is like an exotic scent that'll draw people to you. But baby, my, my bond number nine, it costs like about $500. But guess what? I only wear it maybe here and there. And somebody, some men actually bought it for me. Because I knew I was I was getting into the oud fragrances and, and I was thinking, you know, about, you know, wearing that kind of scent on me. But now that I'm a vegan, now <laughs> that my body is clear, now that I know, wait, hold up, people be drawn to me when I don't even have perfume on. What the hell going on? Men know this. Men know this intuitively. They're in tune to this. And even if they don't know what they're doing, their body takes over and go over there where those spare bones smell good. And they like, I don't know, I'm here. Hey, hey, Red, what, what, what your name is? Like, they, they don't, probably don't even know why they're over there, but, but something brought them over there because, um, 
because he had to get close to that stench, that smell. And so some women know this in their, in their conscious state of being and what a woman does, and I'm not condoning that you do this, you do what you want to do on your journey. Oh, this God, baby. I'm just giving you the message because you asked the question, right? Some women know this. And so what they'll do around a guy that they like, if they know about these fluids, <laughs> they, <laughs> they would actually touch themselves. Maybe it, it could be underneath your armpit or it could be down there. Like, right? They'll touch themselves and try to touch the man. So that their chemical, their secretions, their fluid, their pheromones can get closer to him so he can smell it and, and get addicted in that way. Talking about, once again, I ain't talking about, I'm not talking about you ladies or you men who smoke cigarettes, who, 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 who had bacon for breakfast and the turkey for lunch. And the chitlins for dinner. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm, I'm not being ugly, but I'm just not talking about y'all. Because your, your flu is going to smell like that, what you are intaking in the physical reality, right? And so this happens in the physical reality. This is part of your power to God. I ain't saying walking around letting people, you know, get, put your secretions on people. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying to do that. I'm only telling you what some people I, I know have done. What I, what I am saying is, your pheromones, you shouldn't even have to touch underneath your own pit or between your legs for them to secrete. They should be naturally doing anything and all you just have to do is show up. This is part of your superpower, God, when you begin to take care of your body, your avatar self. And Lord, and forbid you have relations with this person in your avatar self and get on top of them if you're a female and get on top of them and allow your chemicals to climb up Jacob's ladder. <laughs> yeah, that's part of your superpowers. And I want you to know about that because that's why it's so important that you take care of yourself, that you stop putting that antiperspirant on, that you get back to nature because nature has everything for the healing of your body, that you stop sticking all kind of random, uh, penises inside of your JJ, <laughs> especially the kind that has secretions that are really, really cottage cheesy, okay, if you know what I'm saying here, especially because of the simple fact that semen is alkaline and you're sticking all kind of random ones inside of there, knocking your pH balance off. This is why it's so important that, that that pill, that birth control pill, that you understand that you are putting a layer of mucus on the walls of your vajayjay. I need you to understand that too. You voluntarily putting the pill in the mouth and it is putting a layer of mucus on top of your fluids. <laughs> the ones that's supposed to be out pheromoning, the ones that the chemicals that you're supposed to be able to get this bond with the opposite sex. When you're on top of the throne, it's so important that you know what you're doing when you pop in that pill. Because the best birth control should be your self-control, God. But wait, that's another video, so I'm going to leave you alone on that. I need you to know the power, God. I need you to really know the power of the thing. <laughs> Instead of getting on TikTok looking crazy. You know, somebody gave me a heart. That's so beautiful. Instead of getting on TikTok looking crazy. Saying yours the best. You ain't gotta say yours the best. Your aura, your pheromones gonna say. Oh shit. That's, that's the best right now. I remember one day and then when I really found out about this here. Oh no, I never mind, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I forgot, I ain't gonna say that. But anyway, take care of your body. That's what you gotta do, God. And how you detox that body, I, I, I want you to know, I can help you with that on my website. Now you could go and, and choose not to, but I can help you with that. How you detox that body on my website, I have B 
fresh deodorant. It is dehydrated key lime peel. That's how you detox them armpit from all of that fungus and yeast inside of that abdominal cavity because it's key lime peel. Key lime is the best natural deodorant. You got to get back to nature, God. How you detox that vagina from all of that mucus from when you used to be maybe on birth control or if you still on maybe birth control or if you have fibroids or you have that endometriosis or you have reoccurring BV yeast infection is BPH balance. It's a powder too. You put it down there on the right there by the clip of the JJ and allows the, the JJ to get back in balance and start secreting all that mucus and fungus and yeast and parasites that's in there. It'll start coming out and detoxing it and getting it back in balance, God. And so your pheromones could send the signal. You ain't got to wear a red dress no more. You ain't got to stand out with a yellow dress no more. You could be sitting there all in black and they'd be like, God damn, what is that? Is that the nothingness? <laughs> Is that the black hole? I gotta go over there into the darkness. I ain't, for, I ain't afraid of the darkness because those pheromones she's secreting, my God, the dead. It don't matter if you have your eyelashes on or your eyelashes off. It don't matter if you have makeup on or makeup off. Your pheromone. You think the dog and he give a goddamn what kind of dog <laughs> he chasing after? Oh, he knows them pheromones. I, I can smell it. I gotta, I gotta hit that thing. I gotta get some of that ass. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, that's part of your super, super power too. It, it, it is the truth. It's the God honest truth. And so, take care. Even look, look at here. Even the feet. Yes. Take care of your body, head to toe. Even what you wash your hair with, you know, the the soap that you use it on your body, you gotta take care of that. What goes in you? Your skin is the largest organ. What goes in you, on your skin, penetrates to your organs. What you're eating, you don't just think about it like this here. When you don't turn on the garbage disposal, the kitchen starts to stink. When you throw the trash, the fish that you ate for dinner. The next day or to two or those shrimp or, or 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 that salmon the next day or two the whole house stink so what do you think is happening inside of the avatar body is if you're not going to the bathroom if you're not putting some citrus fruit up in there if you're not you know if you're not detoxing you you mean to tell me you're gonna do an all change every six months on your nice car but you're never gonna do a detox on your physical body God? Make it make sense. And so, so when you get tapped into this here kind of power, <laughs> you ain't got to worry about where the, where the men at. You ain't got to worry about where the women at. Mm -mm. You ain't going to have to worry. You ain't going to have to worry. Because they're going to be on your, on your tail. They're going to be always one around. Always one calling. Always one. You, 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 you going to the mailbox? Up, he, he right there behind you. He coming to follow you. He don't know why. <laughs> you know why though because you tapped into your avatar cell you know why you know your pheromones is secreting all over the place you know why because you're drawing people to you oh no it ain't it ain't the bond number nine it ain't it, it ain't the creed it ain't the Tom Ford no it ain't the Chanel it's me <laughs> oh wait, that, that, that would be me yeah that, that would be me and you'll know this you won't have to boast about it you don't want to have to seek anything else about yourself, God, because everything that you desire, you already have inside of you once you take care of you. And that is the most important thing. Now, now I ain't going to be talking about this here no more. So I hope you got it. <laughs> she said that. Oh, hey, Miss B. Thank you for being here. Hey, Pamela. I hope you got it. Because I, I, I ain't going to be talking about this here no more. I'm, I might, that juicy juice, yes, baby, that real juicy juice. I might post this on my YouTube video just in case you all missed the beginning of it. But I'm not going to be talking about this here because God, in, 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 in a journey of knowing ourselves, you will begin to discover this about yourself, God. And I want you to go on that journey to know thyself. Because consciousness is conscious of all things. Of all things. It's a lifestyle. It ain't about black, 
power like you might just think it ain't just limited to pumping a fist you know just about the black woman or black men it's about this avatar too yeah it's about the chemicals that you naturally secrete too and if you're not naturally secreting them you're not taking care of your avatar self if your secretions look like college teas then let you know you ain't taking care of the avatar self now come on now you got superpowers that you're sleeping on and so, so they have these women in the physical reality that be like, um, you know, I got that good, good. Oh, really? See, when people utter through their mouth how good, good, their good is, that, that really is an indicator like, oh, that ain't it. Because <laughs> you know what? Really, confidence, confidence is really silent. Those insecurities are the things that speak really, really. Oh yeah, cause mine is good and he, and he was, uh, no, no, those insecurities talking, baby, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, just shut your mouth, baby. Be still and know that I'm gone, baby. You ain't gotta be talking like that. Just shut up. That's all you gotta do is shut up. All you gotta do is shut up. <laughs> you talking too much. And men know this. Men know this. See, see men, men, you know what I love about men? Even though I know they up in there, they up in there, 149 people up there. Yeah, I know the men listening. What I love about, what I love about men <laughs> is that they, 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 they're really more conscious than we give them credit for. They really know how to tap into the little boy and they really know how to love themselves. They really know how to sit back and shut up and listen. They know how to read the room. They know how to read this here room right now from you, what you females that are saying certain things. They know how to read. That's what I love about them. They remind me so much of me because I'm a little introvert. You know, when I'm not over here, I'm just a little introvert and I just be sitting back and I'll be reading. That's how I know myself so much because I've observed myself through my reflections and in my, my reactions, my energy. And men know how to do that. That's what I love about them. I love that so much. I admire that so much. Even my, even my boys in the physical reality, being that I am the female, my boys in the physical reality, they'll tell me sometimes, Mom, Mom, chill, chill, chill. And I'm like, okay. Okay. Because it's, 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 it's observation time. <laughs> yeah. They're in tune. And so, so they're in tune with these things. They know these things already. Right? They know these things already. That don't mean that at the grown boy stage that they wouldn't hit it and quit it. That don't mean <laughs> that they would take advantage of that as a little prey at the grown boy stage. But they know these things. They tap into these things. They know. And they know when they're ready to explore that person with them fire-ass pheromones. They know when they graduated from grown boy into a gentleman, a conscious man. And they're like, oh, no, I, I, don't, I don't want that one right there. No, I, I, that one right there with, the, with them pheromones right there. Whew, I think I'm ready, ready, ready. <laughs> I'm ready for grown man things, you know? So... Anyway, you do what you want with this information, but if you want to do the detox of the armpit, it's called Be Fresh, available on my website. The link is in my bio, www.isawtheorypub.org. If you want to do that vagina detox, which I believe every woman should do that at least once because getting in a swimming pool will knock off your pH. Taking antibiotics will give you a nice little yeast, yeast infection. Wiping you, your vagina with toilet paper with formaldehyde and, and all kind of chemicals on the toilet paper could give you a nice little yeast infection. Having sex more than once a day because seamless alkaline can give you a nice little yeast infection and you already know about the monster of them all, the birth control pill that's putting extra mucus in the lining of your vagina giving you a yeast infection, right? And so if you put in your little other little tricks and games, your little pineapple stuff, your little cherries and your little whipped cream down there. Okay, that's a yeast infection time too. So I encourage you to look at the website and get you some BPH balance and, and, and tame that thing and allow those chemicals that you naturally supposed to be secreted as God to secrete, to draw men to you and men you no different either. I advise you to get you some B fresh 
um, dehydrated key lime peel powder because your stench underneath your armpit does not supposed to be stinking up the whole damn gym. God. No, it ain't supposed to be running everybody out the gym. It's supposed to be running women to you wanting to get a sniff of it. <laughs> yeah, God, you too. You too, yeah. You got to take care of the avatar, God, to draw with your energy, with your pheromone, with your aura, <laughs> with your heart chakra being open, with your third eye being open. Yeah, all of this, just wide open. This is how you open up all chakra pools of energy and become the Christ conscious one. Not no half ass in it, not no beer in it down, walking around with beer, beer less. No, baby. No, baby. Because in the physical reality, the matrix codes that as being yeast, fungus, and parasites, okay? We understand that all is God, but we got to take care of the beer bellies too now, Mr. Gentleman. We got to take care of the yeast too, right? Because that erection is nothing but blood flow. And so it's hard for the blood to flow when it's full of yeast in the gut. Because the gut is 80% of the immune system. So you got all this yeast and parasites. And so the immune system is saying, look, I ain't got time to be making this dude smell good underneath his armpit. I ain't got time to be making his, 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 his ejaculation clear and, and, and healthy. Uh -uh. I'm dealing with all of this yeast right here. And he don't want to keep on eating. He don't want to keep on down in the beer and getting more yeast in here. So wait, hold up. His eye going to be twitching for a while. He's, he gonna be bald-headed at the top of his head for a while. Oh, he ain't getting an erection for a while. Cause he gonna slow his ass down because we busy. <laughs> That's what your avatar say, Mr. 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 Man. So clean up the temple. Allow that blood to flow. Allow the blood to flow, Mr. Gentleman. Yeah, allow the blood to flow because your, your stuff ain't supposed to be stinking either, right? I've heard lives where, where men, you know, be going off on the women for the stench, but it go both ways. Your stuff not supposed to be stinking either. It's not. Let's get healthy. Let's be responsible for ourselves and stop pointing to people. I mean, pointing the finger at different people. I'm talking to both of y'all. Since both of y'all said y'all own here, men and women, take care of your body. Because most often than not, the sickness or disease goes to the place that has enough room, enough stretch, or must, enough area. So for women, <laughs> that area... It's normally they vagina like, right? So women always have little female issues because we could stretch this out and have a whole baby up in here. But for the men, the thing that stretches on them, if you pay attention, they'll have the big ass calves, they'll have some strong ass legs and arms, but it be that stomach. So men, that's your area. That's your, your area that you have to make solid because the core is so very important. And women, this is your area, your sacred area, your sacred portal of life that you got to make sure always have a life force and not destroying it and not making it a portal of death instead. Clean up the temple, God, and allow those pheromones to secrete. Allow people, and it, either, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship where you get it on top of him to ride on the throne of God. It don't have to be that. It can be business relationships. It can be simply going to the store when you just look regular. Your pheromones is going to be the thing that let that person in front of you stop and hold and open up that door. Come on, come on in. I'm telling you something that I know, something that I'm living proof of. I could go to the store looking crazy without, without makeup on. I could, go, I could go there while I'm painting. And people be like, oh, let me, let me get that for you. Let me open the door for you. So whether I'm painting or I'm going up in there with my head wrap or, or makeup on or flowing with a dress, I still get the same response because it's not about the physical. It's like, oh, something about you. Something, something about you. And these same pheromones can help you with business, this business agreement. People, people who consult with me after the cons consultation want to do for me. 
It will be always you giving no more because your pheromones, your aura, your energy will make way for you, God. When you take care of your body, when you take care of your energy, your inner God, life makes way for you. So you will go to the bank and, and, and everybody will know, what, what do you need? What do you, can I help you? No, no, I got her, I got her. Because them pheromones, that aura. Man, y'all sleeping on the Jews. <laughs> you sleeping on your superpower. Wake your ways up and use all your power. Forget them damn eyelashes. <laughs> you don't need that. You need the pheromones, though. You need that aura, though. You need that subconscious and habitual thought of knowing who the hell you are in physical form and what you came forth in this lifetime to do and bring. You need that. That's gonna be the thing that's gonna pave your way to your happily ever after, to your kingdom, to your heaven on earth. I'm not gonna keep going. You either got it or you ain't gonna get it right now. So um, it is what it is. Check out my website, www.soutoftheearthpub.org if you wanna try um, detoxing deodorant called Be Fresh or the BPH Balance um, Vagina Powder to get your vagina back into the proper pH balance. And I say this respectfully that I was not on nobody's side for no woman to try any trick on um, their reflection or no man to try a trick on their reflection. But you God, you do what you wanna do in your physical reality. I believe all is God, but we all have superpowers that we can use and manipulate energy. Our thought, our spoken word, everything we do manipulates energy if we put our mind to it. So if you ever get to this place in life where you've cleaned up your avatar and decide to manipulate energy with the opposite sex, then go for it. It's your superpower. It's your God-given right. Do whatever it is that you want to do. But when you do get to a holy, harmonious, harmonious state of being in your avatar, you won't have to try to sneak and do it. You'll just be able to just be. You'll be able to just be because you know what your superpower is and you know it's so powerful that you, don't, you wouldn't want to, 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 to manipulate another human. You give that human his free will to come to you, right? To come to you because you'll be God. You'll already be lifted up and you already know that your powers is powerful enough to draw others to you, okay? This video, sorry I didn't look at the comments today, but this video was from my heart to yours. Be blessed.